Hello everybody, welcome to RTS League uh, Season 22. This is a round one group game between MPT and TBL, who I believe uh, it's TBL's first uh, time in RTSL. That should be interesting. We have uh, on TBL Isis, Oranos and Isis again on the bottom of the map. And at the top we have Zeus, Zeus and Zeus for MPT. Zeus is pretty strong on this map, uh, and MPT did choose this map, so makes sense, I guess. This is the original Age of Mythology, the Titans, um, not the extended edition, but the original. So everybody's going for docks. Mediterranean, mm, I'm not terribly keen on this map, but in team games it could be quite good. Um, basically the person in the middle always has the advantage of like they're not going to be rushed so there's a lot of different things they can do they can try to help one side try to help both sides go fast titan or just boom and then like generally crush everyone else so it'd be interesting to see what happens and we have our first use of bolt on a villager an isis villager can often be a good tactic um, slowing down someone's economy, especially on a map like this, um, where uh, especially for Egyptians, like the build order is quite rigid. Um, if you want to get a lot of fishing ships out, um, that will be a problem losing one villager. If you just want to get a few fishing ships out, then you can do an early advance um, fairly easily, but it depends what you're going to do. Pigs, vital on this map um, to get the food to advance quickly, because if you advance, say, 30 seconds later than your opponent, you can. Uh, it's, it's really, really difficult to win water in that situation. So, hopefully, the stream this time has some quality options for those of you with slower internet connections. Um, but the quality should be very good uh, if you choose the highest setting, which will be nice. I'm intrigued to see who's going to advance first here and what the three Zeus players are going to do. They've all used their bolts already. I only saw one of them. Maybe they were all on... Let's have a look. Yeah, they're possibly all on pink. I'm not sure about that. That is pretty devastating, the triple bolt going to slow down your advance time by you know, a minute maybe. It's a long time. No one's advancing quite yet. It would be pretty early to advance to be honest. Let's have a look at the map. So uh, yeah, half decent Reddick over here, slightly cheaper with units. Zeus players, it's probably quite good um, if they're going to go for centaurs, which they probably will. Um, what else do we have? Villager Gold Gather 8, brilliant Reddick. That's a really nice Reddick for Ra, actually, but uh, any Egyptians will benefit from that. And a lot of other, Reddick, well, all of them really, maybe not uh, Atlanteans, but. Uh, Cavalry HP, it's basically like a, a sort of free cavalry upgrade. This is an awesome relic, especially for um, for Zeus. So it'd be interesting to see if anyone goes for these relics early, because there's some pretty good ones here. Yeah, that was a bit rubbish. Unless you're like rushing or something. Um, town centres are fairly standard. Nothing amazing there. There's not too much... Oh, well, there's a fair amount of back gold actually, but um, yeah, this bit in particular on on this side, there's four gold mines all very near each other, so territory is going to be quite important around this town centre. And obviously, if you lose the water, then seed ships will be able to take out your town centre, so that's pretty vital as well. Isis hasn't advanced yet, so I'm guessing he was definitely slowed down. Oh, this one hasn't advanced either. Okay. Ronus is going to be up. And yeah, all the juice players should be up around the same time. But slightly slower from uh, count von count. Let's 
So let's have a look what's happening here. We've got a second dock for Elmo. And a trireme that just jumped out of the sky. I don't know if I was the only one to see that. It's a bit crazy. Early aggression by Lion, Gold Lion here. What do we have? More docks. Two more docks on this side. Don't think these three oracles are going to do much, to be honest. We'll probably end up killing this villager. But Got the standard Promethean uh, deletion to give you two offsp offsprings. Quite good at raiding. Let's have a look at what's going on in the water. Aha! The yellow hasn't got any ships out yet. So, is he even advanced? No, <laughs> that'll be why. This is going to be a struggle. I mean, Atlanteans get cheaper boats, but they're also a bit weaker. Um, their main advantage on water is that they can advance early. Um, but on this map, I mean, the Zeus players advance pretty quickly anyway, so. And Shockwave, that's pretty, pretty devastating. Probably going to re retreat here. Even though it's 2v1, they're outnumbered slightly. And yellow doesn't look like he's going for water at all. So he's going to just FH. Fast heroic. Wow, that's a very slow advance time. That triple bolt must have really, really hurt him. It's such a deadly tactic. Um, triple's use, you know, it's just. Insane on most maps. He's a strong god anyway, but when you have three bolts on a single player, it's just such a big advantage. Yeah, yellow is definitely not. Well, he's he's garrisons his fishing ship, so he might start making sea ships when he advances to the heroic age. But we'll see. The green was pushed off. Oh wow, that's really, really bad. I didn't notice that. There's like no fish anywhere near Green's first dock. That is... <laughs> that is terrible. It's one of the worst fishing map screws I've ever seen. I mean, fortunately, because the map is quite big, because it's a team game, he's just fishing down here, but... And he's got the fishing upgrade as well, which is very important. A lot of people forget it. It gives you like 30%, I think. Faster gathering. Yeah, thirty percent, which is huge, uh, especially early on. I mean, hunting dogs is the only other upgrade that gives you anything like that. We've got a forward build on this side by the Zeus player. Presumably, this Isis player was going to fast heroic, but his plans may have to change. And we've got heroic age for Isis on this side. Not a okay, so we've got some raiding over here by blue. I was going to zoom out then so we could see the whole thing, but you can only do that in the extended edition, unfortunately. And blue's having to run away. He lost a few ships there actually, but he also did kill a few, well, maybe one fishing ship. Garrison most of them. It's quite an important feature, um, a change between the original Age of Mythology and the Titans expansion that you can garrison fishing ships into docks and then well and then they shoot, so that didn't happen in the original game. It certainly makes the fast heroic more viable. And yellow is finally up to heroic and he has his Leviathan. And is he going to make sea ships? He might not bother, he might just yeah, try and take a forward forward position. Second town centre from pink and red and green. I don't think anyone's gone for the, the red X yet actually. No. Okay. 
think yellow's pretty far behind on spilling units as well. Or maybe he got double bolted. I don't know. No. I missed it. No. 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 This is a bit interesting because he's he's gone the, the faster right route and he's got the Leviathan, no. but by itself it's not going to do anything. No. I'm kind of surprised no. he didn't make at least a few siege ships just to sort of push them back a bit. Because at the moment... TBL just has no water presence at all. Um, so that means they're not getting any fishing income. They kind of run out of pigs pretty soon, probably. We've already got some farms here. There's some walling going up. Walls are like an extremely important uh, building. Like you can just win so many battles and areas of the map just with walls. Um, if you do things like walling off your opponent's town centre or something like that, it just can be devastating. Even if you're only delaying them for like you know, 30 seconds or something, it's, it's huge. There's no Pharaoh micro here. Pharaoh is like one of the best heroes in the game. You always use him if you can. He might die here. Oh no, he went. What do we have? Yellow. Aha! Forward town centre. Is Yellow going to see it? That's the question. If he does, he should be able to stop it unless he has ceasefire. Which he doesn't, because they went for restoration. They didn't even need their restorations on water. So, that's probably going to be quite useful later on, to be honest. Pink has no siege to take out these buildings, but he's got the position, so it's fine. And Ancestors Eclipse are being used on this forward town centre. It's quite a good move. He'll probably end up killing a few of these villagers. So Blue at the moment, he's raiding with Termas over here. But otherwise, he's just gone for three town centres and just boom as much as possible. Red's doing pretty much the same thing. He has a few walls and he fought on water, but apart from that, he's just just booming, really. And if this goes late game, then Zeus is going to... Well, the three Zeus players are going to have a massive advantage, just because Zeus is ridiculously strong in the late game. Even with these ancestors, he's not really making much headway here. Um, I don't think has he got siege yet. Yeah. He needs to. Well, if he wants to press the advantage, he's going to have to take this town centre. But we'll see if he can. Spearman raiding. Not the biggest fan of that tactic, but it can be good. They just die really easily. That's the problem with them. Like at least if you have hippicons or raiding cavalry, they can escape. Um, and save themselves if they run into trouble, but spearmen they just die like flies. 20% pierce armor, 70 HP is just rubbish. <clears throat> and yellow has not accomplished too much on this side. He's going to push back here, but the town center is going to go up, so Teal can just move back to here and be secure. But lots more walls being built by Count. Basically, green is just trying to stop pink being able to mine this gold mine freely. He does have a few like, safe ones though, so he should be fine. This whole corner of the map over here is a bit useless. And all of those termers just died. And then green's going to have to retreat his heroes here. I haven't really looked at red at all, but he's not doing too much. Okay, so he's making a fortress now over here. 
He's going to have, presumably, an excellent economy. So, Yeah, he's just maxed up on villagers already, plus a few fishing ships, presumably. Yeah, he's doing well. So they want to try and take these two forward gold mines here. Um, and they have the water as well, so they don't have to worry about building too close to the water, which is always useful. <coughs> like, if they lost the water then, for example, this town centre would be hugely vulnerable to seed ships in the Mythic Age. And we have an underworld passage. To here. Presumably they're going to have three underworld passages. Yeah. It's just <laughs> restoration, so they're going to easily win this. They're going to have to try and take out this town centre though. They don't have any siege, so... They're probably not going to be able to push them back completely. No armory upgrades, but that's kind of expected, because you can go to Hephaestus in the Mythic Age and get ridiculously cheap armory upgrades. Yellows, chariots, dying like flies. Pink's army is pretty weak here, I don't think he has any upgrades. It's just a few spitmen and slingers. Just this town centre that's kind of keeping them afloat on this side. And we have our first mythic age. Has he got any temples up? Oh, he's making one now. There's plenty. And we have the siege coming in now. Yeah, this could be the end of the game, really, because if they push through here, then they lose one of their gold mines. And they don't have... Oh, well, they've got a few pounces here, but... They could just push through afterwards quite easily. These chariots are going to struggle. They need more siege units, really, to take out these buildings. And that town centre's gone. Blue's probably going to have to retreat here to his palaces. Yeah. Ooh, that dock <laughs> nearly made out. It's interesting that they've got a few ships just hanging around. Could probably delete some of these, get more population. Obviously you need to guard the coastlines because your opponent could sneakily make a dock and then get a few sea ships and just take out your whole fishing fleet. Um, but you don't need that many. That's a bit weird. But he, you know, he didn't need the population early anyway. So. Still struggling in terms of economy. Doesn't really have enough upgrades. And these Petropoli are just <laughs> devastating. It's kind of like a natural. Well, they've got the wall as well, but it's, the town centre gives a natural barrier too. So it's very difficult to take them out. And I wonder if Teal's going to repair this. I mean, even if he gets destroyed, they could just make another one, so... It's pretty crazy. Pink is still in the classical age. That's... strange. It just shows you how devastating those bolts can be early on. Yellow can probably hold this position for a while, but it just depends on how they're going to 
combat this on this side. And now the cross eye coming in. Neither blue nor pink are in a position to deal with these at all. I mean, those birds might be able to do something, but the pierce armor is pretty massive. Palace is down. A few towers, though. I don't think they're going to be able to hold this position very long. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the other Greek players um, went Hera just for Lightning Storm. And Pink finally makes it to the heroic page. And we have another Ancestors Eclipse. Not quite as devastating later in the game, but might still be able to do something. I would focus them on these for top line. Just get rid of them immediately. That's really strange. Teal is trading <laughs> like right through Yellow's uh, base here, and through his trade. That's uh, kind of cocky, really. And the Colossus eating the gold mine. It's a pretty good tactic, especially um, if you get to Mythic pretty quickly. There's a way of gold starving your opponent. Just wait for your Colossus to get injured a bit and then heal him while taking all of the gold of your opponent. It's pretty nasty. And the Myrmidons. Myrmidons. We have our first Titan Gate as well. I, I have a feeling that TBL are going to resign pretty soon. I don't know. Yellow's doing okay on this side, but they're just doesn't look like they have a chance on the other side. 